Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kathleen Lynch and I am your instructor this semester for your class Adolescent Psychology, Introduction to the Adolescent. This video will give you is to give you an outline of what's expected in the class, uh, how it's going to run so you have an idea of what to do, uh, what needs to be done in order to achieve the highest grade possible, and any other little tidbit I can throw your way so you have great success. So first off, there is no online uh, Zoom presence. This is a 100% online class. That being said, if you need to have a meeting with me uh, or discuss something, you don't understand something and you want a face-to-face, -face, we can Zoom. So all you have to do is send me an email and um, we can set up a Zoom time. Um, otherwise, uh, the expectation is you have to be an independent learner, understand what needs to be done, keep things in a calendar, keep track of dates, uh, expectations, when things need to be done. Um, and that's how you're going to have success. You do need to be logged on uh, certainly it's in your best interest to go online well ideally would be once a day but that's probably not very realistic so at least a few times a week um, the class when you go on to Moodle you'll see it's going to be broken into episodes and each episode covers a specific topic topic and it has the dates of when that episode will run. You can't do all the work at one time and get ahead. It's going to be segmented into blocks, the episodes, and you're going to do each one and then you can move on to the next one. The next one won't be open until uh, towards the end of the weekend of the quiz. And then, so if you do do a quiz on a Friday and you say, well, I'd like to work on the next episode on Saturday and Sunday, you will be able to do that. So um, the early bird gets the worm. I've been doing this now at BCC for over a decade. And so no surprise, uh, I can see what works and what doesn't. Uh, within a few weeks, I can almost tell you who's going to get what grade uh, because your habits immediately make that determination and so if you get into good habits from the get-go then you will just continue with those habits throughout the semester so here's how this is going to work you're going to have an episode it's going to have a specific number of steps you're going to do one, each step one at a time in that order you're going to have readings from your required textbook which you're going to get online through Pearson. There's a link, right? When you start the very first episode, it shows you where you can go to get that textbook. It's a digital textbook, and the reason for that is it's like $100 for the digital, and to buy a loose leaf copy of this textbook is over $200. I've seen them for $322, which is insane. So, just get the digital copy and you will be better off. So we got to save money somehow. It's the same content. So you're going to do that and then you're going to have specific pages that you're going to read in each uh, episode. Then you're going to have online content. I've loaded content up on each episode. It might be an article. Uh, it might be a video. I've created video lectures. You need to go through each lecture, uh, listen to what I'm saying, take notes. It should follow the textbook. Um, if there's any amendments that need to be done, uh, you'll see a note underneath it because even in a year since I made these lectures, things have changed and you'll see that when you get to a, a section that regards Roe versus weight. So uh, we're going to do that. Then you're going to have a forum. 
the forms are kind of light. They're not really that academic, more about a little, your own personal narrative, life experiences. Uh, you know, you'll see on your syllabus what percentage each item gives you towards your grade. The form is the least amount. Then you're going to have something called perusal. I don't know if any of you have used this before. I use it in all my classes. I load an article. You're going to open up the perusal. You're going to read the article and then you must make an annotation. An annotation is like a little synopsis of what you've read and you're going to pick out a certain section of what you read, highlight it, and then over to the right side, it has a conversation box and you're going to write in it. I've never had anyone have any problem doing this assignment or understanding how to do it, so I know that you'll do it as well, but if for some reason you don't get it, please uh, email me. The instructions are there in the assignment. Um, and this is turns out to be a really great, you can respond to what other people say, comments. It's, I, it's really beneficial. Uh, it's scholarly. Uh, you know, you've got to write in a scholarly fashion. Uh, but it's, you're using creative thinking and it's, you know, real world situations. So uh, I find that really beneficial. Other things you're going to do are watch outside videos, outside the lecture. Everything is required. You're supposed to go through each step and do the assignments. Um, sometimes a student will say, you know, I did poorly, I worked so hard, you know, and then, you know, I can actually go on and see what you've done. Um, and I say this because if you say that, I will, I'm not going to go on unless you say, I'm, what can I do to get better at this? What, what's necessary? But for example, I had someone do that last semester. Oh, you know, my grade, my grade. They never, ever watched anything ever. And you know, you, you will fail. You have to, you have to take the quizzes by the deadline. You have to do the perusal and the forms by the deadline. I will drop a lowest quiz grade. Okay. So, cause life gets in the way and sometimes you miss something or you just didn't have time to study. And that's why you get this one mulligan here that you, I will bring it to a zero at the end of the semester because, you know, obviously I want to go through all your grades and find out which one is the lowest. Now, if you miss a quiz entirely, uh, you know, the first one, I will just drop that immediately. So um, the quizzes are the most valuable component of the semester as far as grading goes. Uh, it's worth a lot and you really want to do them, but having a drop is like a, a, a gift. So if you have any accommodations, make sure you have them sent to me so I can change timing on your quiz. Um, I guess I would say you need to, if you go through everything and read it, uh, I've really expanded time over the past few semesters. Number one is, you know, if you ever had me in person, you would know that I really prepped you for a quiz, but we really can't do that anymore because it's a totally online class. So you're only getting 10 questions for each quiz. In some of my classes, it's 20, some 10, uh, but you are going to get 20 minutes to answer 10 questions. That's two minutes a question. So, you know, it, it should be doable. Uh, of course, you will be prepared. Every question is geared towards the material. So it's there. You can find it. So, uh, you know, the objective of having that is just to, you know, keep you going with the information so you feel secure in what you're learning. Then you're going to have a midterm. The midterm is just a compilation of the quizzes. It's just another opportunity to, to answer a question again and have you review it. So the quizzes are your study guide. Um, and then at the end of the semester, if you've managed to maintain a 93, an A, the entire semester, 
you will not have to take the final. I am good with what you're doing because the majority of the points are towards the quiz. So that's good. And let me just add a little codicil to that. I have a tendency, well, I don't have a tendency, I do up grades because BCC, it goes from like 92 to 93. There isn't any, you know, it's, it's just a range from a a solid number to a solid number not with decimals but you will end up with decimals so if you had say a 92.10 I would just pop it up to a 93 I'm not doing I just pop it up it always gets popped up so if you're you had a 92.10 well you wouldn't have to take the quiz because it would be 93 uh, so and in your final grade if you had an 82.10 Eight seven, I would make it an eighty eight. An eighty two point seventeen, I would make it an eighty three, etc. So everything gets popped up. So uh, the reality is, the majority of students in the class will get an A. Hopefully, you will enjoy it. It's a class that's multi uh, visual, uh, so it it's using all kinds of you're, you're writing in a forum, you're writing in a perusal, you know, some people that's going to be their strength. You're going to have uh, quizzes, some people that will be their strength. Um, if for some reason that you feel like you could do better and you want to do extra credit, hey, I'm all for that. You have to discuss it with me. You don't want to discuss it with me two days before your the final. Um, I see students, uh, very often you're going to get students who are ahead of the game, you know, make your schedule up and then the students that are like running and taking the quiz at 1045 when it closes at 11. Don't be that student, be the student that's ahead because it just takes a lot of stress away from the situation and you'll do better you'll be more relaxed you know and life gets in the way and we can forget things so if you need to set a timer on your phone do so if you're somewhere and you remember that you have to take a quiz you can take it on your phone you don't have to be logged into your computer so there's a lot of options here so i know i'm talking a lot and i may have to cut this and condense it but i always feel like this is so critical you know, this is the key to your success in this class. And you're here, you've signed up for it, you've paid for it, why not get an A? It will boost your GPA, it really helps you along, and it just feels so good. And I have been in your situation, I just finished getting a master's and a doctorate over the past three years, you know, while teaching, doing my other business, which is a flower farm, you know, and so I got a doctorate and I got a master's from Harvard. So I, I know your life. I've been there even earlier when I first got my first master's and then another CAGS. I was a mother. I had a job, you know, so I am an adult learner. I have been an adult learner for the majority of my academic life. So I, really do have empathy, compassion, and understanding for what you're going through. So uh, do, do know that. And I am here for you. I'm happy to talk to you on the phone, email, or we can do a Zoom. You just let me know. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you online. All right. Have a great day.